here, and now that we know angle of twist, and this will be pretty easy, won't take long at all. Now that we know angle of twist, we can find uh, part C. Let's find the angle of twist from for the whole B, from A all the way to F. Angle of twist in degrees. All right. So if we hadn't already done this, we, we would need to, to find all of these internal torques. We would need to find all of those internal torques. And the angle of twist would be the sum of all of those TL over GJ. So maybe even TL over GJ of that section. TL over GJ. You know, I know this is a lot of writing. How many sections do we have? I, I broke it up into five sections. And so I'd have the TL over GJ of section AB, section BC, section CD, section DE, and EF. So the angle of twist would be, now, are some of these constant that we can bring them out and only multiply at one time? times that G, right? This is the same material throughout. So that G, we can factor it out and multiply it once. Uh, how about the L? I don't know if y'all kind of, I wrote over all these, but this, let's say that L is 100 millimeters for every section, 100 millimeters for every section. So the L and the G, I'm gonna factor out. Why not the J? Why not the J? Because this hollow portion has a different J than the solid portion. The hollow portion has a different J than the solid portion. But the length is all 100 millimeters. The G is all 28,000 MPAs. All right, now I'm going to do the T over J of that section, the T over J of that section, the T over J of that section, the T over J of every section. And I think I might actually kind of combine these, these first two have the same J. These first two have the same J. So I'm gonna do uh, the torque negative 100 right here. And the torque in the other section is positive 150. And both of those are dividing it by the pi by 225 to the fourth. All right, and I think, so here we go with units again. Uh, all five of these torques, Newton meters, Newton meters, Newton meters, uh, I'm gonna multiply that thousand once to, to all of them. So that's why I've got negative 100 right there and positive 150 right there. So that's the T over J for those two sections. Now these last three sections have the same J. These last three, last three sections have a J of pi by two, 25 to the fourth minus 15 to the fourth. Now don't, don't try to tell me pi by two, 10 to the fourth. No, it's, you know, you got to, raise both of those r's to the fourth power separately and subtract them and then the torque inside each of these sections positive 150 negative 30 positive 70 and there we go so i, I think it's helpful to factor out as much as you can so that you're not multiplying you're not having to punch in 28,000 in your calculator five different times, right? All right, and I've got an angle of twist of 0 0.0156 radians. Uh, I, I'd like you to leave that in radians unless I explicitly asked, which I explicitly asked in this problem in degrees. TL over GJ gives you, spits out your answer in radians. Uh, but I explicitly asked for it in degrees. So from radians to degrees, 360 over to pi, 0 0.0895 degrees. 
And y'all see that many times we're talking about a very small angle because of the G, because of the J, and because we're not, in, it's, it's not very, because we're in the elastic region. So don't be alarmed if your answers, you know, come out with these kind of smaller values. All right. 